What the Ladybird Heard at the Seaside by Julia Donaldson and Lydia Monks. One July, when the sun was high, the ladybird took to the clear blue sky. She spread her wings in the summer breeze and flew over farms and fields and trees. She flew and she flew as fast as could be till at last she came to the deep salt sea. And the sea lion roared and the seagulls shrieked, the mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked, the crab went snap and the shark went gnash, and the whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. The dogfish barked and the catfish purred, but the ladybird never said a word. But the ladybird saw, and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a camper van, with swimming trunks and a cunning plan. They were hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, up to their wicked ways again. Said Lanky Len to hefty Hugh, I tell you what we're going to do, we'll lie and wait till it's twelve o'clock, then out we'll swim to the mermaid's rock. The mermaid's hair is very long. She combs it while she sings her song. But when it's night and she's fast asleep, then tiptoe onto her rock we'll creep. And snip, 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 we'll cut that hair. So very long and very fair. Said Hefty Hugh to Lanky Len. We'll make a lovely wig, and then we'll sell it to a famous star. What brilliant brainy blokes we are. The mermaid's hair will soon grow back, enough to fill another sack. We'll keep on doing it forever. We've hit on something really clever. The little spotty ladybird, who hardly ever spoke a word, told the animals what she'd heard. Then the sea lion roared, and the seagull shrieked, the mermaid wailed, and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap, and the shark went gnash, and the whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. And the fish declared, that wicked pair, we can't let them steal the mermaid's hair. But the ladybird had a good idea, and she whispered it into every ear. Then the seagull gave a joyful shriek, and he fetched some seaweed in his beak. And as the sky was turning red, he dropped it onto the sea lion's head. Then as the sky was turning black, the sea lion jumped on the whale's humped back. The clock struck twelve, and the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, flip-flapped down to the salty sea. It was cold and dark, but they laughed with glee. Then the whale began to sing a song. That's her, said Hugh. We can't go wrong. They swam towards the tuneful sound. She's still awake, said Len and frowned. The singing stopped. They took a peep, said Hugh. I think she's gone to sleep. Up they climbed with their big brown sack onto the whale's enormous back. And snip, 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 they started snipping. This hair, said Hugh, it's damp and dripping. What's more, said Len, it's awfully tough. Our scissors can't be sharp enough. Then, help, cried Hugh, this rock is heaving. I think we'd better both be leaving. But Len replied, just one more snip. Then the whale's grey tail gave a great big flip. The thieves fell into the water, splosh, and Hugh said, golly, and Len said, gosh. Then, ouch, cried Hugh, and Len yelled, no, as the shark bit a flipper, and the crab pinched a toe. They swam for their lives, and then they ran, all the way back to their camper van. Phew, said Hugh, we've had a scare, but at least we've got the mermaids here. They opened up the sack and then, It's full of seaweed, shouted Len. And tricked again, said the two bad men. Then the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked. The mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap and the shark went gnash. 
the whale's grey tail, made a mighty splash. And the dogfish barked, and the catfish purred. But the ladybird never said a word. <laughs>